The Mola Mola fish, or ocean sunfish, is the world's largest bony fish, weighing up to 5,000 pounds, and since they have very little girth, that just makes them these absolutely giant fucking dinner plates that God must have accidentally dropped while washing dishes one day, and shrugged his shoulders at because no one could have imagined that this would happen. And with no purpose, every pound of that is a wasted pound, and every foot of it, 10 feet by 14 feet, is wasted space. They are so completely useless that scientists even debate about how they move. They have little control other than some minor wiggling. Some say they must just push water out of their mouths for direction. They could use their back fin, except guess what? It doesn't fucking grow. It just continually folds in on itself so the freaking cells are made. This piece of floating garbage just doesn't know where the fucking go. So, they don't have a swim bladder. You know that one thing that every fish has to make sure it doesn't sink to the bottom of the fucking ocean when they stop moving and so that they can stay right side up? This creature that can barely move to begin with can never stop its continuous tour of idiocy across the ocean or it'll fucking sink. Except when they get stuck on top of the water, which happens frequently because without the whole swim bladder thing if the ocean pushes over the thinnest but largest most toppleable fish on the planet shit out of luck there's no creature on this earth that needs a swim bladder more than the spit in the face of nature and yet some scientists have speculated that when they do that they're absorbing energy from the sun because no one fucking knows how they managed to get any real energy to begin with so they need sun i guess but good news when they end up stuck like that it gives the birds a chance to land on their goddamn island of a fucking body and eat the bugs and parasites out of its skin because it's basically a slowly migrating cesspool. <laughs> pros and cons. If they're so huge, they must at least be decent predators. No! The most dangerous thing about them, as you may have guessed, is their stupidity. They have caused the death of one person before because it jumped onto a boat on a human and in 2005, it decided to relive its mighty glory days and do it again! This time, landing on a four-year-old boy. Lucky Byron sustained no injuries. Way to go, fish! Great job! They mostly only eat jellyfish because of course they do. They could only eat something that has no brain and the possibility of drifting into their mouths, I guess. Everything they do eat has almost zero new nutritional value and because it's so stupidly fucking big it has to eat a ton of the most non-nutritional stuff to stay alive. Dumb. See that ridiculous fucking open mouth? Oh no! What could have happened? How could this be? Don't let that expression fool you. They just don't have the goddamn ability to close their goddamn mouths because their teeth are fused together and you know what? It is good that it floats around with such a clueless expression on its face because it is, in fact, clueless. They do sometimes get eaten though, but hardly. No animal truly uses them as a food source, but instead, which leads us to this photo, we'll usually just maim the fuck out of them for kicks. Seals have been seen playing with their fins like frisbees, probably the most useful thing to ever come out of them. Wow, you've raised some good points there. This fish truly proves that God has abandoned us. Yes, thank you, but if they're so bad at literally everything, why haven't they gone extinct? Great question, because this thing is literally so worthless it doesn't realize it should not exist. It is so unaware of literally fucking everything it doesn't realize that it's doing maybe the worst fucking job of being a fish or debatably the worst job of being a cluster of cells than any cluster of cells. So what does it do? It lays the most eggs out of everything. Besides some bugs, there are some ants and stuff that'll lay more. It will lay 300 million eggs at a time. It survives because it statistically would be improbable, dare I say impossible, that there wouldn't be at least one of those 300 million eggs left surviving at the end of the day. And this concludes why I hate the fuck out of this complete failure of evolution, the ocean sunfish. If I ever see one, I will throw rocks at it.